more, but we were like, no, Mark, you have to keep your shirt on. Like, it's not cool. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, he has his own ball gag. That was weird. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, so it's very early on, very you know, that will be a very driving force. But, but beyond that, I think with Crowley, you know, the family stuff. And again, Crowley's relationship with the guys has kind of evolved, I think, very nicely over the course of the last few seasons. I want to keep that going. Awesome. Be my all again. <laughs> um, so you mentioned Lucifer. He's still out there. Um, where you know he's looking for a vessel. Where this? Can we know where he ends up? Bob. <laughs> I, I, I was so transfixed by him. Um, well, Lu Lucifer is going to try out a few different vessels. Um, not, uh, first of all, you know, to hold Lucifer, you need a, a really strong, strong vessel, like Sam. Um, so he... <laughs> like, like Castiel. <laughs> Jensen, would you like to... Oh, no. <laughs> Jensen can veto that. It's, it happens when you... Year 12, like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Lucifer is going to try out a few vessels, and uh, the first vessel that he kind of feels comfortable with is a, uh, is a rock star, who's a little bit on the downside, but uh, is trying to make a bit of a comeback, and Lucifer says, this is my kind of guy. His name is Vince Vicente. Uh, we'll be seeing him in a, a couple of episodes early on. That's exciting. Uh, I'm on pins and needles, Bobby. Well, <laughs> have we cast that role yet? We actually have cast that role. Um, well, you know, you can, we, we've whispered it to you guys, so you know who it is. Why don't, why don't you, why don't you, you want to sing the clue? Uh, Jesse is a friend. <laughs> that lady's so changing hard to find it. You said one verse. <laughs> So it's Jesse. Rick Springfield oh. is going to be <laughs> the new singer, believe it or not. How did, well, Andrew, how did they go about it? How did, how did he get involved and how, did, how was that decision made? Well, basically, we were like, you know, we want to put him in a rock star because, one, it's just kind of interesting. You know, Lucifer, he got what he wanted last season. He got his face to face with God, you know, who's kind of a dick, but whatever, it's not as cool. Um, and, um, Sorry. Sorry. Um, so, but you know, for him, he's kind of out in the world, ruling heaven, ruling hell. It lacks an appeal, and you know, we're, we're seeing Lucifer is kind of on vacation. He wants to have some fun. But what he's realized is that when your name is Lucifer, he carries a certain amount of baggage, um, and so hopping into bodies, you know, kind of possesses this kind of, you know, faded, as Bob was saying, rock star from Vincente. And we're like, we'd really like to get somebody to perform and do this kind of stuff, and we call our casting people. And they were like, look, you know, because this is a real role, like, you know, great actors have played this before. Mark Pellegrino. <laughs> Misha, kind of. And, um, <laughs> and so we needed someone that could act and, and live up to that. And they were like, well, if you want a rock star, like, they can sing, but very few of them can actually act. Uh, that, that list is very short. And they recommended Rick Springfield, who, if you've seen Rick in a Flash recently, or True Detective, he was in both of those, and he was great. And he was, he was kind enough to do it for us as his up shooting, actually, his first scene was on Friday. And he's just doing an amazing, amazing job. So we're really excited for you to all see <clears throat> I mean, we're excited, too. I mean, honestly, as a kid, he's one of my favorites. And uh, I hope he comes to the convention soon. <laughs> I want to rock with him. <laughs> he might steal your go-to karaoke number. I'm okay with it. Sorry. If you wrote it, you can have it. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to, to get some uh, questions from the audience. Up. You guys have any questions?